most of the jobs that these kids are going to have aren't even thought of or created yet. And so we need to teach them how to think and how to create and how to communicate and collaborate. And Genius Hour does all that. No teacher had ever said, hey Dana, what do you want to learn about? Ever in my life. And so I thought, oh my gosh, what if I ask kids, what do they want to learn about? It's messy. It's probably not a teacher's favorite part of the day, but kids will come back years later and tell me, Mrs. Clutter, Genius Hour was the best part of my school career. There are kids everywhere. There are materials everywhere. I have no control over any of it, which is very scary as a teacher. But it is organized chaos. Uh, they have to start with a non-Googleable question, uh, and then they have to do their research, create a project, and present it in some way. I just finished How Can You Start Your Own Animal Adoption Services, and next time um, we're going to do How to Make Your Own Home and Stuff Dan. So it's basically once a hundred subjects in one. That's just what I want to get I just finished studying the Titanic, and now I'm gonna start studying the 9-11 with my friends. It has stretched me as a teacher because I mean, you have to give up that control and let the kids do the work. They're learning things that I don't know the answers to. And so they ask me questions. Well, I don't know, Let's, how could we find that out together? You get reluctant readers to read, they're writing, they're presenting, they're creating things, so you've got art involved. 